Have you ever thought what an amazing thing corn flour is? It's great to use around the kitchen. It's good for thickening things like soups and sauces. It's also the basic ingredient in custard, but that is just the start of it. Check out this recipe. Into a heavy duty blender or cement mixer if you have one handy, add your corn flour to an equal measure of water. As I'm using 125 kilograms of corn flour and 125 litres of water, I've got a kit paddling pool in which to pour out my churned mixture. Now what we have here is a pool full of very gloopy liquid. If I put my hand in, it's very definitely liquid. But what happens if I decide to take my shoes off and roll my trousers up and go for a dance? I wonder. Hey, look at me! I'm dancing! I'm running! I'm fast! It's solid! It's not liquid anymore! Isn't this amazing? A corn flour and water mixture is what's known as a dilatant fluid, one that begins to exhibit properties of a solid when put under extreme pressure. When I mix the corn flour and the water together, the corn flour didn't dissolve. It's simply suspended in the surrounding water molecules. And when extreme force is applied, i.e. me jumping up and down, the water is forced out of the gaps between the corn flour granules. Friction between them increases and they act like a solid. But as soon as you stop applying pressure, the water molecules slip back between the corn flour granules, which lubricates them, and so the mixture begins to behave like a liquid again, and I sink. Oh, please, give me a hand. Please. Come on, you've got to be kidding me. Give me a hand! Come on, please! <laughs> that was absolutely amazing! I must admit, when they said to me, jump on it, I was thinking, this is not going to work. <laughs> I'm not surprised! I'm going to go, boom! But I couldn't believe it! This is the same stuff here, it right? It is! Corn it's, flour it's and liquidy. water! Look, completely liquid. Mm -hmm. Look at that. You can, yeah, beautiful. OK, so, if I do this, for example, theoretically... <laughs> oh, 